A very good morning to you and welcome to the news at 7. I am Iberi Ugunna. The headlines this morning, Governor Obiano commended for the payment of over 50 million Naira community and social development projects counterpart fund. Christians charged to draw closer to God through the Eucharist. National Assembly to slash 2019 election budget cites duplication of line items. On the forums in this morning, a strong 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck Western Iran. Now, details of the news, Governor Willie Obiano has been commended for, payment, for payment of the counterpart fund of over 50 million for community social development agency. The commendation came from the traditional rulers and president generals in Orkan North Council area during a one-day sensitization meeting on World Bank assisted community and social development project. Correspondent Amaka Chibuzokoye tells us more. The sensitization was for traditional rulers, president general, women leaders, and youth leaders of all the communities in Oka North local government area. While intimating the participants on the mission of the project at Achala, the council headquarters of Oka North, the board chairman of the agency and traditional ruler of Nteje, Igwe Roland Odebo, said the agency was established to bring beneficial packages to five mapped out poorest local councils in the state to alleviate their suffering and assist them with amenities to make life meaningful. Igwe Odebo said Governor Obiano saw the benefits and paid the counterpart fund for the councils involved to benefit 10 million each, calling on the committee that will be involved to harmonize with the traditional rulers on the projects that their community is in their need of. <laughs> And that I will say the next week or two, but never again. But I'll pray that one day. I'll just say I'm going to get a little bit. It's about quiet here. The name of the project is the one of the new guy, but the youth. The youth. I'll put it up on the table. I am right. Go home and get a room. I'll go. All for education will be level. The transition committee chairman of the council, Mr. Lawrence Onguzilike, represented by Mr. Emmanuel Okunkwo, appreciated the efforts of the governor in seeing that the state is among the 30 states that run the program, charging the participants to do the needful towards the project kickoff. In a PowerPoint illustration, the general manager of the agency, Mr. Chu Dimojehu, said the objectives of the project include empowering the communities with grants to develop, implement, and monitor micro-social and natural resources infrastructure projects. He stated that the project must pass through the local government to the communities and it requires evidence of community participation. Speaking on behalf of the participants, the traditional ruler of Obo family, Igwe Ernest Madebune, and his Ebenebe counterpart, Igwe Chukwe Meka Nebuna, say the project is a welcome development as they will all embrace it for the betterment and progress of their communities. They call for cordial relationship of their subject. <laughs> The meeting featured a question and answer session from Achala, Oka North Council Headquarters, Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. A Catholic prelate, Most Reverend Peter Obaleke, has underscored the necessity for every Christian to draw closer to God through the Holy Communion. Bishop Obaleke drummed this into the ears of the congregants at St. Joseph the Walker Chaplaincy Oka in a sermon during a Holy Mass there. Correspondent Amaka Chibuzoko in our reports. Bishop Obaleke, Holy Communion remains the highest sacrament of the church, and as such, every true Christian must endeavor to receive it for both their spiritual and physical upliftment. The Catholic bishop charged parents to train their children with the fear of the Lord for their future well-being and the good of the society. <laughs> Nam 
na abuntubu nke na nje so Christi abuntubu nke na nje so Christi de no jaksa na mwanya at the Anglican Church of the Holy Spirit, Oka, an Anglican priest, Reverend Jesse Nonyakabusi, revealed that human beings are in transit in life, adding that everyone must prepare him or herself for life eternal. My message today is centered on for a while. That is to tell you that nothing is permanent in life. Nothing. Even the post of permanent secretaries are not permanent. We are in transit. There is nothing as permanent as change. And so wherever you find yourself today, know that you will not be there forever. Also delivering a homely at the Kingdom of Grace International Ministry, Oka, Reverend Dr. Top Felis implored all Christians to have absolute faith in God in order to excel in whatever they do in life. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. The recent decision of the All Progressive Grand Alliance ABGA to fuel the presidential candidate of Northern Extraction in the 2019 general elections has been described as a brilliant political permutation. In a statement in Oka, the Senior Special Assistant on Grassroots Media Mobilization to Governor Willie Obiano, Mr. Munamuta explained that the move would expand the political horizon of the party in Nigeria. Mr. Amuta described the national leader and board of trustees, chairman of ABGA, Governor Obiano, as a pragmatic and realistic politician who places high premium on fundamental interests of ABGA and Ndebo. He maintained that the resolution of the Board of Trustees of ABGA to zone the presidential and vice presidential slots to the north and southeast respectively in the forthcoming general elections was a pleasant reminder of the political acumen of late Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, who many times in the past saved Ndebo from outright political marginalization in Nigeria, as it's unfortunately the case today. The governor's grassroots media mobilizer and trust that with this positive development, Abga would have greater national outlook in the 2019 general polls, pointing out that in the likely event of a second ballot in the presidential election, the party would be in a better position to go into mutually beneficial negotiations and agreements with other political parties to form coalition government at the federal level. Mr. Amota, however, charged the party's hierarchy at the national level to intensify its public enlightenment campaign in order to effectively mobilize grassroots support for ABGA in the next year's general polls in the country. And away from that, Otolo Newi has emerged the winner of the 2018 Wafo Rizu Unity Cup, catting home the grand prize of 400,000 naira. The tournament, which was organized by Nzukora Newi in honor of the former rep Republic Senate President and one-time acting President of Nigeria, Dr. Akwe Kenwafo Rizo, was also aimed at making 2018 Afiolo Festival more colorful and attractive. Valentine Mbadoa has the report. The first runner-up was Uragun, which went home with 300,000 Naira, followed by Mnewichi, 200,000 Naira, and Umudim, 100,000 Naira. It was all celebration and jubilation at Nnewi High School as the cream of Nnewi society gathered to witness the closing ceremony of 2018 Mwafo Rizu Unity Cup. Princess Esom Mwafo Rizu and Prince Nnan Som Mwafo Rizu, as co-sponsors of the event, expressed their joy over the respect and honor accorded to their father while thanking the leadership of Nnewi for the initiative and contributions towards the success of the event. I'm most grateful to the organizers who first of all thought out that it's good to give my father the honor of playing football in his name. Newe has been very appreciative of my father and I'm very grateful to the organizers, the Uzukora Newe, who brought up the whole idea of playing football in his honor. My heart is full of gladness. The water pond uh, today uh, is historical. And session, first of all, we go to the initiators of this uh, event, which is in Zukor and uh, we ably led by uh, the Chifude Mezue. And um, to the, the young man, uh, C. Frank. 
On their part, the President General of Nzuko Ranewi, Mr. Ogochuku Udemezwe, and Prince Chinedu Orizu thanked the donor and main sponsor of the competition for his gesture and called on Ndianambra to emulate him so as to promote peace, unity, and progress within the state. Also speaking, the main sponsor of the event, Mr. Okechuku Udogu from Nnewichi, noted that his intention is to develop the youth through sports. He added that such events helps in exposing hidden talents of the youth, as those who did well will be excited in developing their football skills and career. <laughs> The captain of the Otolo team that went home with the gold cup, Mr. Kinsley Chukoma Okatu, while extending his gratitude to both the organizers and the sponsors of the tournament, noted that the event is spectacular as they have never witnessed such. You know that others have not been doing it. They are doing it, but this one is different. I really give it kudos. I give it thank him a lot. Highlights of the event was the presentation of checks and handing over of the call to the winner. From Nnewi High School, Nnewi, Valentine Umbado, are reporting for ABS News. Now moving on to our national story this morning. The National Assembly may court the budget for the 2019 polls due to duplication of line items by the Independent National Electoral Commission findings showed that ahead of the resumed seating of the Senate and House of Representatives, joint committees on electoral matters today, August 27, members' opinions tilted towards adopting our next version of the budget, which is 189.2 billion naira. President Muhammadu Buhari's version was 143 billion naira before the committees adjourned for the salad break and there was a deadlock on whether to pick the president's version or INEX, but committee disclosed to reporters in Abuja that the INEC version would be adopted, though it might be caught due to duplication of line items. One senior official informed newsmen that several duplications were identified, especially in the allocations which INEC made for the police and other security agencies. The source observed that those items were also provided for in the 2018 national budget of 9.12 trillion naira was earlier passed by the National Assembly, adding that on the resumed seating today, the committees would first iron out the duplications by getting the heads of the affected security agencies to appear and defend the fresh proposals by INAC. He said that the implications is that the Joint Committee may or may not conclude its work today, saying that it depends on the speed with which the heads of the security agencies will come to defend these items. When contacted for comments, the Chairman, House Committee on Legislative Budget and Research and Member of the House of Committees on Electoral and Political Party Matters, Mr. Timothy Golu, confirmed to newsmen that the Joint Committees indeed raised the issue of duplications and were set to resolve them today admitting that he was also aware that the heads of security agencies would be summoned. Moving on to the foreign scene, officials say a strong 6.0 magnitude earthquake that struck western Iran near the border with Iraq, killing two people and injuring more than 200. The U.S. Geological Survey said that a shallow quake hit 26 kilometers southwest of the city of Javan Rud in Kamasha province, near the site of a powerful quake last year that killed hundreds. The heads of emergency department Kamasha University of Medical Sciences, Saeb Sharidari, told reporters that two people were killed and 241 people injured, while six are critical. Sharidari said the two dead were a pregnant woman and a 70-year-old man who died of a heart attack. The local director of crisis management, Reza Maumudien, told newsmen that the situation was under control and no request for help had been sent to neighboring provinces, saying that there were reports that a quake was felt far across the border into Iraq. And that's it on the news at 7. But remember that you can listen to news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by logging onto our website, www.absradiotv.com. Like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash ABS Radio Television. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ABS Radio TV. 
And just before we go this morning, the main points again. Governor Obiano commended for the payment of over 50 million Naira community and social development projects counterpart fund. Christians charged to draw closer to God through the Eucharist. National Assembly to slash 2019 election budget cites duplication of line items. Uh, and on the foreign scene, a strong 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck Western Iran. And that's the size of our package this morning. Many thanks for watching. I'm Iberi Ugunna. Good morning, Nambra continues.